Hey guys, listen up. YouTube works with an algorithm. By you liking this video, it says to YouTube, this is an active channel and it helps keep me full time on YouTube. So help me out guys, like, share, and subscribe. The drama that you're about to hear may not be believed by many. But those who lived it surely do. <laughs> Today, we have an individual who's looking for love in all the wrong places, at least some would say. I take you to a small town in Atlanta. We have a lady by the name of Sarah. She's working strenuous hours. She's doing what she can to take care of her children that she has by a man who is very active in the unprofessional world. His obligation and loyalty is not to the woman that truly loves him. His obligation and loyalty is centered elsewhere. He's into a lot of illicit and illegal activities. And this individual feels as though the world that he lives in is worth more than what he has at home. The parties, the girls, life of luxury, the money. Sarah's crying daily. She's crying because the man she loves does not show her the love back. She looks in the mirror, everybody tells her that she's beautiful, but the man she loves doesn't even acknowledge her. One day, Sarah comes to the conclusion that she has to do something to make this situation work. She turns on social media and she realizes that there's this very popular sorcerer and she says to herself, maybe she should give this guy a call because if everybody's talking about him and he's very popular on social media, maybe he is the real deal. So she gives this guy a call. So this sorcerer picks up the phone and she's shocked that the individual that she was watching picked up the phone. But she was surprised not only because he picked up, was because of his coldness and his distance. Usually the type of people that she would meet that were spiritual are usually open and receptive to everyone. This spiritualist was kind of hesitant and kind of cold and it was kind of shocking because it was as if, as if he didn't want to have any dealings with her. So as time went on, the communication went on, the spiritualist put down his guard and he listened to the situation. And as he began to listen to the situation, listen to all the things that the individual put this woman through found a soft place in his heart to listen to this lady, to help her. But in the midst of this compassion that he felt, he gave this woman a fair warning. He stated that if he was to do what she asked, that there could be collateral damage. 
damage. In there could be a lot of violence that occurs towards the individual. She stated that this man was involved with another woman. And she was concerned that this woman was dabbling into black magic. This sorcerer was not moved or budged by the statement this lady made. Because in his mind, he knew what sorcerers could do. And he felt in his mind that this person was nowhere near what she thought she was. In his mind, that was light work. So, they agreed to the terms and the lady said that she accept everything that comes with what she asked. The man told her that he was going to utilize a zombie from Haiti to deal with her rival. He stated that anything can come from what she requested in regards to her rival. As far as the lover was concerned, it was told to her that if he commits adultery, if he engages in illicit activity with other women, or another woman outside of you, he will have to meet the severe consequences. Sarah agreed to the terms. Time goes by. Weeks go by. Sarah gets a disturbing call from her lover and he says he needs to be taken to the hospital. He got into an altercation with the woman he was seeing. As his back was turned, she took a pipe and hit him in the mouth and knocked his teeth out. Sarah goes to pick this individual up. She sees blood everywhere. And it wasn't until a few hours later that the police came by to pick her lover up. Because what was not told to Sarah was that in the midst of this domestic violence, her lover actually ended up shooting his gun, missing the rival by fractions. The lover was charged, but not with anything that was going to put his life in jeopardy or take much time from his life. The woman he was with, Sarah, was a very affluent and successful entrepreneur so she could pay the greatest lawyers to help the situation and is, that is exactly what she did. of this legal issue the man she was seeing divorced the woman that he was dealing with cut all ties with her and they lived <laughs> yeah he got his teeth fixed 
podcast.